Hello everyone, it's Sheltek and welcome back to another video. And today we're taking a look at a 75% RGB mechanical keyboard from Red Dragon. This is the Polux K628 wired mechanical keyboard. Now I've seen a few different types of keyboards over the past year, but this one is different. It's got 78 keys, hot swappable red switches, vibrant RGB, and it's lightweight. Today I will do a quick unboxing, setup, talk about the switches and keycaps, the RGB, do a sound test, and tell you the pros and cons of this keyboard. As always, timestamps and product links are in the description to the K628 keyboard and any gear I have in my videos. And taking a quick look at the box, it's got the Red Dragon distinctive red and black branding and states some of the key features that the K628 has. It claims to have high speed, high control, and being a high responsive keyboard. So you get all this for under $60. So let's get this open and see what we get. Taking a look at what we get with the keyboard is a USB-C to USB-A cord. Looks like some extra red switches, a keycap puller, and a switch puller, which is really nice to see. Then we have the keyboard itself, which feels lighter than I expected, but has a good quality about it, just like other Red Dragon products I have reviewed. And under that is the Red Dragon sticker, and finally a short user manual. It's really nice to see some quality extras come with this keyboard. Taking a closer look at the Polux K628 gaming keyboard. Now for a gaming keyboard, this looks great. With less keys and a compact design, this keyboard screams gamer. The 628 is plastic, but doesn't have a cheap feel to it, but on the contrary, has a durable and quality feel to the touch. K628 is Red Dragon's 75% keyboard, meaning it eliminates rarely used solo keys, like the F and print functions, and moves them to more multifunction keys. Therefore, giving you a no frills layout for work and gaming. This keyboard really keeps it extra simple with no separate media keys on top and keeping the branding to a minimum to match any setup. Because of those no frills, the keyboard comes in at a space saving 13.9 by 4.1 inches and a lightweight of 0.47 kilograms, mainly due to this being a wired keyboard. Underneath the keyboard, it's got the Red Dragon branding along with some rubber pads to keep it in place. You can also increase the height with the flip of the two rubber feet on top. So let's talk about the connection. Well, it's not wireless, but that is a good thing as a wired keyboard is the best way to ensure speed, reliability, and performance. Since this is a wired keyboard, it comes with a USB-C cable. This cable is detachable, but it's not braided. Something I think most gaming enthusiasts are looking for, but because it is detachable, you do have the option to buy custom cables separately. Now using that included USB-C cable, which is about 60 inches in length, all you have to do is plug it into the USB-C port on the side, and the K628 activates instantly as a plug and play device. It is quite interesting, Red Dragon has moved the USB port to the side on many of their keyboards than the industry norm of middle port location. This may be due to aesthetics or function, but I still don't know how I feel about that. Now let's check out the keycaps and red switches. Using the included puller, the keycaps come off smooth and easy. These keycaps have a nice look to them. The font is very large and translucent to show off the RGB and keep the keys readable. They aren't shiny or slippery, especially during gameplay. But what is under those keycaps is most important to most gamers. Using the switch puller and a little force, the Ultimate red switches come out surprisingly easy. These hot swappable red switches are quiet, basic linear mechanical that have a soft key reveal that making it easier for your computer to register the clicks. I found these switches to be pretty strong and well made and I really didn't fear breaking them when pulling them out, which is pretty unusual for me with mechanical keyboards. But in the case you do break some of the switches, Red Dragon does provide extras in the box. The K628 is compatible with almost all MX style SMD LED switches on the market including Gatoron, Cherry, and Kale, and of course all Red Dragon red, blue, brown, black OEM switches. So you can see what switches work best for you. Using a keyboard like the K628 with red switches should give less clicky keys and be just a little bit quieter for everyday use. But take a listen to this and see what you think. Now can you really call this a gaming keyboard without showing off the RGB? Well, the RGB lighting on this keyboard is awesome with great customizations. Right out of the box, there are 20 preset backlight modes that can be cycled through using the function plus alt R keys. That same function key in combination with arrow keys also controls the lighting brightness and speed. Other functions you can control from the keyboard are RGB on off, lock windows key, and switch between seven single color backlight patterns using the spacebar. 
But to expand your options even more, you can use the Pro software available to download from the Red Dragon website. This software allows you to fully customize up to three different profiles, the macros, keys, shortcuts, and colors. So everything to help you design your own new modes and effects for more efficient work and gaming. So this was a look and a hands-on of the Red Dragon Polux K628 75% wired mechanical keyboard. For under $60, I think this is a cool keyboard. I love the ability to use different switches. It feels solid but light. It has loads of customizable features, whether on the keyboard or through software. And it just looks great with nice fonts and a smaller size that will save precious desk real estate. One thing I was not so keen on is the USB cord. It does give an odd look to have the cord sticking straight out of the side of the keyboard. I think this keyboard should come with an angle cord like other Red Dragon keyboards like the K530, which you can see my review on after this, but you can always remedy that by buying a third party cable. I also wish this keyboard came with a braided USB cable instead of a smooth one, but all in all, all these are minor factors that makes this keyboard a great budget buy. So let me know in the comments what keyboard you currently use for game or for work, and maybe I'll do a review on it. Well, you just made it to the end of today's video, so thanks for watching. Check out a couple of other videos you may be interested in watching next. Don't forget to hit the like, subscribe, and turn on notifications for more Shell Tech. <music>